Okay, so today we're gonna be surprising Gatsby with a corgi puppy. This puppy is from the same breeder that Gatsby is from, but it's different parents. Anyway, I found out that my friends actually went to the same breeder, so I thought that we would surprise Gatsby with Tater Tot. Let's see how he reacts. There's a gift, Gatsby. You have a gift. Whoa! Who's that, Gatsby? Look who it is. <laughs> hey, Tater! Hey! Hey! Hi, <laughs> Gatsby's like, I'm so relieved! <laughs> Good dog, Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like that too, you know, Gatsby. He's like throw he's like such a diva. Look at Gatsby. <laughs> he's like, that's my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. Good dog. <laughs> Thanks for visiting and scaring Gatsby. <laughs> Don't worry, Gatsby, you're still my bae. <laughs> I'm not replacing you. <laughs> Just out for a morning walk. Good morning. <gasps> Double. You know that means today's gonna be a great day. Ran out of his raw food, so we gotta go to the store and buy some. Right now, Gatsby is eating green tripe dry. It's from Canada. He really loves it. I think it's pretty good. If you guys didn't know, I would try to get dog food from Canada just because Canada has super high standards for dog food versus like the United States. Pikachu will leave if you don't speak to it for a while. Pikachu, Gatsby is a corgi on fleek. Pikachu! Yeah. There's a lot of you. people just chilling. <laughs> Look, it's Mewtwo. Sean is battling Mewtwo. I hit him with a great. I think that's it. I don't know. Yes! Nice. Let's try. Nice. Who cares what you got, right? It's about the Mewtwo. No. Great. Come on. Come on. Oh No, I didn't catch it. I wasn't able to catch Mewtwo today. Yeah. I just grabbed a sandwich for lunch. Oh, it's so good. I wonder why it's called the Steve Jobs, though. There's no apples in it. Now we're headed off to the gym. Gonna hit some back. Gotta grow that back. Real life, I'm like goals. Real life, they're like me. Real life, they're like no. Peasant. Let's go with lamb. What's up, peaches? So yeah, a lot of people have been asking me to give an update on the raw food. I just didn't feed him raw food today because I ran out. I do notice that he does seem a lot healthier when he eats it. No smelly farts, he has clean teeth, his fur looks a lot better, and he just seems a lot healthier when he's on it. Also, his poop does not smell like anything. <laughs> I spy Gatsby.
Now that I got my gym workout in, it's time to get Gatsby's in. We are at the Bay Area K9 facilities. They're gonna let us use it. This is my buddy Josh. Hey guys, it's been like two years since he last did it. Let's see if he remembers anything. Are you ready, Gatsby? <laughs> yeah. He actually likes it, Ryan. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> For the most part, it looks like Gatsby really remembered what he's doing. Good job, Gatsby. I did aquarium maintenance yesterday by cleaning the tank and my friends reminded me that maybe the tank might be doing poorly because of the protein skimmer. I've been testing all the water parameters and they're all good, but the protein skimmer is something that you can't test for. it. This is all very dirty water. The suggestion was that maybe the protein skimmer wasn't skimming properly or as efficiently as it should have been. I cleaned the entirety of the inside of the skimmer. It does seem like it's skimming more. Hey Nick, hey. what's up? I'm working. How's it going? Good? And for dinner today, we are gonna be making something that I saw online and I thought, hmm, that's weird. Martha Stewart's one pot pasta. All you do is you just throw some ingredients inside of a pot and you just cook it all at the same time. I know a lot of people are like, this isn't pasta, but let's see if it tastes any good. So first we gotta dice some cherry tomatoes, thinly slice an onion, as well as thinly slice four garlic cloves. Martha Stewart says 12 ounces of linguine. My pan is not large enough to fit this, but we're gonna try it anyway. Our cherry tomatoes are cut in half. We got the onions or garlic, quarter teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, four and a half cups of water, and some sprigs of basil. Now we turn it on high. Eventually the water should evaporate after it cooks the pasta. Twirl the pasta, add some pepper, some basil, drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on top. Let's grate some Parmesan cheese. It looks pretty. Moment of truth time. See if it's any good. I'm gonna expect it to be like very light flavored because there's not really a sauce. It's pretty good. Very, very simple garlicky taste. The tomatoes add a little bit of a tang and the basil adds the basil flavor. It doesn't just taste like I'm eating noodles. I think like everything boiled in, kind of infused with the pasta. It doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes pretty good. Definitely, if you don't know how to cook, this is like one of the easiest things that you can make. I would give this like an eight and a half out of 10. It's surprisingly pretty good. Oh, by the way, Sean's here. <laughs> We're playing Pokken Tournament. Hey. On the Switch. <laughs> I'm gonna win again. So Sean is Empoleon and I am Decidueye. Okay, I don't know what the buttons are. Whoa. What? Okay. I beam. Go. Decidueye, what are you doing? You're not even doing anything. Get up. There. You can just keep doing that. That's fine. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh-oh. I know how to do that and ice beam. <laughs> oh, no. Go. Call gunk. No. Oh, you serve. Do you even know what any of these uh, no. characters do? I'm not. No! On. Go, go! I haven't go. even touched you. Whoa! Let go! Whoa! I only like, I learned another, yeah, I learned a new move. Ow! So now I know those three. <laughs> I beam I can do consistently. No! Yes. Oh. Go! Go, Decidueye! Oh, it's don't like die, the don't die. leaf tornado don't attack. Don't die, don't die. 
Come on. No, Come on, no, this no. is your eye. Shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> go! Go! Get away, hunt. Use our Pokemon to attack! Pokemon use Pokemon to attack. Yes. No! Yes! Yes! Oh, I could have ended Good it right job, there. Good job, Decidueye. Final round. Go, go, no! go, 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 no. No, come on, come on. Come on. No! Let's go! Oh, oh my god, what a cheater. How did I what? So unfair. Oh. I was just focusing on attacking. I didn't even know I was gonna win. Pokemon just like hates me. <laughs> Sean won two times so far. I've won zero. Boo. Since the Oscars are coming up, I thought that I would just talk about the Oscar movies because I used to do that all the time in the vlogs. I've been working really hard to try to see all of them. <laughs> I have seen six out of the nine movies. If I had to rank them from my personal favorite, I would say Lady Bird, Dunkirk, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, The Shape of Water, Get Out, and then The Post. Out of the ones that I have not seen is Call Me By Your Name, or as I like to call, Corgi By Your Name. <laughs> I have not seen Darkest Hour, and I have not seen the Phantom Thread. I still have to see a few more movies before I come up with my list of top movies of last year. And so, I will do that and report back in a future vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this Corgi-centric vlog today. As tired as I am, I think Gatsby's like way more tired. We did so much stuff today. You're an exhausted Corgi, huh? And if you haven't yet, don't forget to check out all the new merchandise at CorgiOnFleek.com, including these maroon Corgi on Fleek t-shirts. Thank you so much to all my friends who appeared in the vlog, and We'll see you guys in the next one. Good night. She needs a calendar. Wow. Does this even look drinkable? Like, what? Today, we are gonna make some color changing tea. What? This drink's color looks like it's from Avatar or something, and guess what? It's all natural butterfly pea 